Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Thunderstruck Super Series Williams Auto Group 125 here from Southern National Motorsports Park. I'm Zach Wettstein. I'm here with Jeff Paisley. How are you doing tonight, Jeff? Doing great. Looking forward to some great racing here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. 125 laps for these guys in the super late model car tonight. And we're going to go ahead and pull up your race info track length less than a half mile so uh, these cars are going to be very close all night long whether it's lead lap cars or it's lap cars around the leaders it's not really going to matter they're going to be close racing all night long 74 degrees on track uh, with it being nighttime and all and we are heading into qualifying so we're going to go ahead and shift over to that yeah they're going to be fast tonight with the high banking on this track and everything it's going to be a wild race i got a feeling Great race to be starting up. Josh Oswald is on track right now, qualifying, I believe, his first lap. Oh, he's already, it looks like maybe he's already done. Uh, with a 13.99, that'll put him sixth best right now. Kevin Dowd just laid down his first lap, going for his second one. Oh, and gets loose at the start finish line. And that is going to keep him fourth at the moment with a 13.83. Mickey Isaac currently doing his first qualifying lap. Just put down his first one at a 14.17. Putting down his second lap right now. And he's going to stay in the 11th position on the grid, now 12th so far. Terry Bates with the pole spot so far. I don't think we've seen the end of the fast times yet. Eric Lake is third best. Yeah, Jason Warren on track. Jason Warren, Tanner Marr, Joshua Sexton, Andrew Saucier, and Brandon Mettler on track currently. Joshua Sexton just put the second best time down. Here goes Jason Warren across the line, and that'll put him in the pole spot with a 13-4-4. Over a tenth better than Terry Bates in second. Tanner Marr in the four car. Five Kings Motorsports paint scheme, tenth best so far. Yeah, you got to watch the Five Kings guys. They're just super fast. First lap put him 11th. Second lap is going to move Tanner up to the 8th position. So he's going to have some work to do tonight. Usually he qualifies up in that top 5, but maybe struggled a little bit there in qualifying. So going to be interesting yeah, I think to see he's going that. To be a little, yeah, I think he's going to be a little dis, uh, dissatisfied with himself on that one. Looks like we have 25 in here tonight. Donald Clark and Logan Sturge in the last two yet to qualify. Donald on track right now. He was super fast in practice. Let's see if he can back it up here in the qualifying. Yeah, Jason Warren currently on the pole spot with a 13-4-3-9. So that is the goal, uh, the time to beat for Donald Clark. First lap. He's going to be second with a 13-5-3. So looks like. Jason Warren going to be able to get the pole in tonight's race. And, well, surprise, surprise. I mean, uh, last last season's champion and already starting off good this season so far with what should be a pole spot. We have one yet to qualify. And I'm not sure if Logan's even racing or if he's race control. So uh, looking good for Jason Warren to start off the new season. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he's going to try to get that second championship. He wants to go back to back, I'm sure. And so while we wait to see if it gets advanced or not, we will go ahead and check out your schedule for the second season of the Thunderstruck Super Series tonight, Southern National. Then we head next week to the Bullring for another 125-lap race. As you see, every single race is 125 laps. All short tracks, and that's what this series is built around. That's what these cars are meant to do is uh, go around these tiny short tracks. So. Uh, there's your schedule for the season, a 12-week schedule, and 
I'm definitely looking forward to what this season uh, can bring because I love short track racing. So, and I imagine a lot of people do. And so if you're watching tonight, make sure to tune in the whole season as you see your schedule there, a lot to look forward to for the Thunderstruck Super Series. Yeah, this is going to be a great season. I think the short trackers are going to come out and they're going to be putting on a show each week. Uh, I can't wait to be a part of all this. This is great. All right, time to grid up. Jason Warren will, in fact, keep the pole spot. If we can't find, there we go. Good. Uh, I, I, I'll probably have a better view from up here and watching the races from the uh, sidelines than I will in the race because I'd have probably been running in backward the way these guys run. <laughs> Jason Warren with the pole spot with a 13-4-3-9. Donald Clark second. Terry Bates third. Joshua Sexton qualifying fourth. And Brandon Mettler the top five. Ryan Bean sixth. Eric Lake seventh. Shannon Wilder eighth. Tanner Marr ninth. And then Kevin Dowd rounding out the top ten. Harold Rothery eleventh. Casey Kuntz twelve. Thirteenth Aaron Ward. Josh Oswald qualifying fourteenth. Sam Wettstein, 15th. Ray Page, 16th. 17th is Mickey Isaac. David Hall, 18th. Keith Lichtenwalner, 19th. Chris Malcolm, 20th. Lance Bonberg, 21st. Kenneth Younts, 22nd. Chud Bassett, 23rd. Andrew Saucier, 24th. And then Logan Sturgeon did not qualify, which leads me to think that maybe he is a race control tonight. That is your field for tonight's race. Yeah, setups are a big deal on this track. I know when I was uh, doing some practice in it, I used the iRacing one, and it, it was pretty slow comparative to the later one that I put in. So these guys get, have fast ones, though. They could burn it out and be really loose later and slow themselves down. So it's going to be interesting to see how the setups really play out for this one. Yeah, absolutely. The lights are off in the pace car. These guys are ready to go racing to start the new season for the super late model series here in the thunderstruck super series as the green flag is out jason warren donald clark an even restart between the two but oh jason already trouble oh. sliding into turn one and that's going to be contact between him donald and clark sexton. and joshua sexton tough way to start the new race Looks like Jason Warren tried to dive into the turn to beat Donald Clark for the lead and just got a little, dove a little too hard into the turn as we're going to go ahead and check it out here. Tries to dive in to take that and then just, yeah, it comes around on him and a little bit of, con ooh, a little bit of contact at the outside wall for Clark and Sexton kind of head on contact. Yeah, and it looks like Warren actually did a uh, pit stop stuff for it, uh, the towing. So he's already a lap down, and he's going to probably go down more than one. That is not what he wanted to see on the start of it. Yeah, absolutely not. You know that he's not happy with himself there, but luckily for these guys, 120 more laps. So definitely time for him to recover and, uh, you know, make better of the situation uh, that he's kind of put himself in to start the season uh, we'll see what he's able to do as yeah he's currently one lap down yeah it looks like he was able to just stay one lap down from what I'm seeing yeah he just got loose and it looks like Clark couldn't or Bates couldn't get slowed down enough and hit him yeah that was Donald Clark that if you check that right front out that right front is a little mangled after making contact with the wall See if we get a better view for you guys of that. Yeah, that right front pretty messed up. But it is a short track, so shouldn't affect him too much. So Terry Bates now to the lead with that lap one incident. Donald Clark able to keep his position, uh, stay up here, and thankfully not get turned around during that wreck. Now these guys are lined up single file. The green flag is out. Terry Bates, a great restart. Donald Clark trying to hold on to that second position over Ryan Bean.
Brandon Mettler now to the inside of the 28. It can be pretty tough to pass here, so you want to do it as er as quick and early as you can on these restarts. As you see, Brandon Mettler had the position on him on the inside, but it's just so tough to pass that he was not able to, and he'll have to settle back into Got fourth. Got another caution. Ooh, uh, Keith Lichtenwalner on the on the back stretch. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm not sure how that transpired completely. Maybe he got loose. Yeah, he got loose out of the turn. We'll come back for you guys and check this out. Yeah, he was up onto the straightaway, but it, it just got out from underneath him. Heavy contact with the front to that wall. That front side's going to be pretty messed up. Now you got to worry about the motor in that car. Oh, don't know what happened there. Uh, yeah, you got to be worried about the motor in that car with how hard he hit that wall. Well, he should, uh, Jeff should put Warren as lucky dog, though, I would think. So he should be able to uh, come back around. Yeah, and last yeah. night, if you tuned in for the modif Wednesday Modified Series here in the Thunderstruck Super Series, uh, I mean, you saw how tough this track can be, and uh, that's kind of – it's coming into tonight as well. You're just seeing how tough it is. Even when you're by yourself, you can get really loose out of the turn. Uh, as, yeah, Jason Warren getting that lucky dog, and he's going to be able to get back on the lead lap and try to make some positions up. I'm sure that he'll be able to move through the field, but it's going to be dangerous, though. I know coming through a pack can really be hard. I was trying to do that when uh, I messed up on qualifying when we were at Phoenix, and I got caught up in three wrecks trying to get through on Phoenix. Uh, they wrecked in front of me, and that caused me damage. So uh, hopefully he'll have better luck at this than I did when I was at Phoenix. Yeah, and that's a track that's a mile in length, and this one is not even a half mile. So uh, if, if it can happen at Phoenix, it can definitely happen here. It's, like you said, all about luck. I mean, in racing, you can be fast, but you also need to be a little bit lucky. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on his battle through the field, and these guys are going to get back lined up two by two maybe. Not sure. Nobody else is – I don't know. <laughs> it's It started to look like they were, and then it didn't look like they were. And, well, now we're two by two, and – Getting ready to go back racing your control car. Still Terry Bates in that two machine. Yeah, if they, if they get the uh, good green flag, man, then laps are going to count down quickly here. Terry Bates able to get a clean restart. Keep that lead, but behind him, it is a mess. Two by two throughout the entire field still. Ryan Bean and Donald Clark side by side for that second position. And Ryan being able to take it away. He, he got raced, a wreck back in the back. Ryan being raced last night as well, so he has some experience on this track. Uh, Chud Bassett is in pit road. Not sure if it if it was him, but he is in pit road. No, that wasn't him. Hmm. War Warren did get through it all. Any idea who the original spin was? Um, I'm thinking it must have been somebody like uh, Mickey Isaac or Sponberg. Looks like Chud, Chud Bassett's two laps down, so that's possible. Yeah, I checked him out. The 14 has some damage to the front, so we're going to check that out. Oh, yeah. Found it. All right. Let's come back here. And let's check out what happened to bring out this caution. Oh, 14. Hits the left rear, the 23. And uh, unfortunately for uh, Logan Sturgeon, nowhere to go. Uh, the 23 of Mickey Isaac, like you mentioned. So he was tagged in the left rear by Chris Malcolm bringing out that caution. Yeah, they got so slow, it didn't look like Logan could either get it stopped or wanted to stop one or the other. But he, they are, uh, maybe they went down in that inside wall. Very unforgiving on this track once you get loose. Yeah, I was unsure if Logan Sturgeon was going to race, but he is out on track and on the lead lap. So 
Looks like he just wasn't qualifying or else, or he messed up his qualifying lap, either which. Yeah, that's possible because if he uh, came down and he made contact with the wall going towards the line, it would negate that lap. And if he went across the line at that point and then hit the inside wall, it would negate that second lap also. Lights are back off of the pace car. And these guys are once again going to look to get a clean restart and see if we can't get some green flag laps under our belt as the two car of Terry Bates is off once again and trying to fight on the outside. Ryan beat him the 28, but just not enough run on that outside to get to him. And that leaves the door open for Donald Clark on the inside. Brandon yeah, I'm thinking that it might be a little looser on the higher end, so they're, they're having to back out a little bit because you would think that they would be able to hold it a little bit harder when they're on the outside, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, Brandon. There's more banking. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say there's more banking up there, so you would think that they would be able to keep it lit up a little bit more up there. And here comes Donald Clark for the lead to the inside of Terry Bates. Going into turn one, let's see if he's able to dive in there and take it away, and he will. New leader here at Southern National Motorsports Park. And here comes Brandon Mettler for that second position now, so Terry Bates starting to fall back a little bit here. Caution is out. Sam Wettstein is around. Looks like it. Maybe a single car. No, I don't think it was a single car spin. We're going to check it out, though. Diving down. Oh, and just contact between Sam Wettstein and the 99 of Aaron Ward. Spinning that car around. Yeah, I think that kind of thing is going to happen more on this track thinking that you're clear and you come down and the other guy's going to be right there. Yeah, sometimes two drivers just trying to occupy the same same spot on the track and that just doesn't work obviously and it looked like that that happened there. Both drivers were just trying to run the best line they could into the turn and that kind of brought them together turning the uh, 98 around. Yeah, it doesn't look like that damage is hurting Donald Clark at all. He, I mean, he's definitely super fast. Yeah, with these short tracks, that's definitely an added bonus is, you know, you can get damage, and as long as it isn't damage to the motor, uh, you're usually pretty good. So for Donald Clark, hit the outside wall, but didn't injure his, uh, his engine at all, so he's able to stay out there and actually go past Terry Bates for the lead. Yeah, no, here at our local track in Stockton, uh, the, I've seen guys getting wrecks during the, their heat races, come out with no nose stuff on their car or anything and run fantastic. I, I've even seen them win a race with no nose on their car. So it's, it's not too bad for them on the short track. Yeah, and luckily for these guys, we're uh, on short tracks all season long. So they're going to be able to at least have that added bonus all season long. But... Uh, the only negative is you are on a short track, so a lot of, uh, not a lot of room on track, but a lot of room to hit other people, if, if you know what I mean. So um, short tracks, you know, there's obviously any ra any racetracks have their positives and negatives, uh, but when you're at any short track, uh, risk and reward is a lot higher than other tracks. Yeah, Warren, our, pa our past champion, has got up to, to 16th spot so far. He, he seems to be taking it nice and slow to get back up there. Yeah, you see him actually working the outside there of Ray Page. Oh, it didn't work out. Him and Joshua Sexton. Sexton was also caught up in that wreck on lap one. So uh, these two having to work their way through the field together to try to get back up near the front in the top five. And Joshua Sexton actually makes a pass on Jason Warren because he was stuck on the outside. And I think now they're going to kind of work together to pick people apart and move through the field. Yeah, I think that's kind of what's going to happen because I think uh, Sexton is good at getting through traffic and so is he, if Warren will just follow him through. 
Donald Clark able to maintain the lead on that restart along with Terry Bates in second, Brandon Mettler third, Ryan Bean fourth, and Shannon Wilder fifth. Looks like Sexton starting to make his way past another driver, Harold Rothbury there in the 71. Warren's going to try to take that hole and move on through, too. Oh, a little bit of contact to the outside wall for Sexton. And that may not injure your race car at all, but that can hurt your rhythm a little bit. If you make contact with the wall, it can throw you off a little bit. And with these short tracks, it can be hard to get back into a rhythm if a big wreck happens to you. So I think that's the biggest thing is when you're picking through these lap, or not lap cars, but when you're picking through the field here, uh, Joshua Sexton, Jason Warren, uh, if you can get into a rhythm where one car's, you know, passing the other and then the guy behind is filling that hole, you can really start to make up. Uh, oh, was, you saw the wreck on the front stretch there. Lance Sponberg and looks like Kenneth Younts. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Kenneth. Logan Sturgeon, the fish, was uh, definitely holding his own there. He got into the wall a little bit, but still kept it up there and was able to stay in front of Sexton and Warren. Looks like maybe started as a three car. Oh, no. So you see the 86, the 99, and the 85. Oh, contact Aaron Ward to the back of the 86, or the nine, or yeah, the 86, sorry. It's backwards right now on the top of the car. <laughs> and then the 85, just nowhere to go. So. Un really unfortunate timing for Kenneth there. Just wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, it doesn't look like the 85 got much damage at all, but he's definitely going to lose the lap. Yeah, now 20 that cars out of 25 left on the lead lap. Yeah, 85 is now two laps down. Kenneth Young Youngs? I think so. I'll have to ask him after the race. That's what I would assume it's pronounced, but uh, I know that, you know, with my last name and people struggling, I know that it can look one way and be, a, the, be the other, so I yeah, apologize uh, if I pronounce anybody. I just anybody. think it's yount, because it, if you change the Y to a B, it's bounce, so <laughs> I, it should be yount. <laughs> Andrew Saucier and Lance Sponberg are on pit road. Those are the only two, though. And these guys are back lined up two by two. Josh Oswald's come up from 14th spot and is running eighth right now. He's doing pretty good. Another great restart for Donald Clark in the 18. He's going to be able to be clear of the two of Terry Bates. Uh, but not clear are Ryan Bean and Brandon Mettler side by side for that third position. Brandon able to make that pass on the inside. Shannon Wilder trying to also make some moves up here in the top five now. And Tanner Marr, who we mentioned, he struggled in qualifying. Uh, he's up three spots from his initial starting position of ninth up into the sixth position, trying to work on Shannon Wilder right now. And then there's in the background Joshua Sexton and Jason Warren once, a, once again working together, whether it's on purpose or not, working together to kind of sift through this traffic tonight to try to get back up into that top ten and then eventually, uh, you know, hopefully get up to the battle for the lead. And a caution's out. The 86 Lance Sponberg is spun around. That'll drop him another lap down. I wonder if they can do it on one pit stop or if they can make it through the whole way. We were surprised at Dover at the end of the year. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see for sure. Uh, last night, I think we saw everybody pit at least once in the modifieds. Not sure about the super late models, but 
uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see sooner or later as we're already 50 laps into a 125 lap race and that's kind of what happens when you're at <laughs> tracks short as this one uh, laps definitely tick by pretty fast yeah I mean you get a 10 minute uh, run and it's going to cut this down another 50 laps yeah, they're running 13 to 14 second laps. And under caution, they're not even running 30 second laps at this point. So that just shows what kind of track we're at. Because, I mean, I say it all the time, but it's just, it's, it's pretty funny that, you know, we're running caution laps that take as long at, you know, mile and a half tracks when they're going full power. So, um, lap, you know, whether it's green flag or caution laps, they go by pretty quick. But obviously, uh, if you enjoy watching racing and not wrecking, then uh, you're definitely going to want to see more green flag laps. Uh, don't I don't necessarily understand the people that enjoy watching wrecking, but, hey, I mean, we all have our different preferences, I guess. I always like the wrecks, but I, they, they can be uh, a little tedious at times because they'll slow everything down so much. Wreck after wreck after wreck on a short track can really slow the pace. But those super speedway crashes are something to see. Yeah, they're 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 something to watch as long as they come out of it safe. And well, I mean, ever since 2001, any any wreck at a at a track like that has come out safe. So they've figured something out. Yeah, it seems like all forms of motorsports have really come out with some really good safe stuff. I mean, you would think Rojan would not have made it in his wreck in Formula One. Oh, that was insane. That was. That was one of the scarier crashes I've seen in any motorsport at all. Yeah, that halo saved his life, I'm sure of it. Uh oh, 17 got into the wall a little bit. He kept it straight, but Oswald is falling back now. Oh, Logan Sturgeon almost spins out. He's able to keep keep that car under himself and keep it going straight, but he's gonna lose positions with that. As there's, a, oh, in the 14 of Chris Malcolm I think he made some contact with that inside wall, so that's going to be more damage to that front end of the 14. Yeah, as this goes on, it's going to get looser and looser, and they were loose when they were on new tires. Brandon Mettler right in front of Ryan Bean. Ryan Bean trying to get back into that third position, and Tanner Marr now into the top five. Brandon Mettler staying strong up there in third spot. Joshua Sexton working under Eric Lake for the seventh position. And just as we've seen all night, Jason Warren right behind him. Oh, Jason looks like he's going to try to get underneath Sexton now. Yeah, there he goes. If you can find an opportunity, you know, they've been working well together, but if you can find a way to get in front of a, another driver that's as fast as you are, you definitely take that opportunity. And that's what Jason Warren just did, taking the seventh position away from Sexton and actually costing him uh, a spot to Eric T. Lake that he just passed. Yeah, I think Warren probably felt, we can work good together with me out front. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of out front, Donald Clark starting to deal some lap traffic. Terry Bates, Ryan Bean, your top three. And he's separated himself over half a second from Terry. So he's starting to show speed. He was fast in, fast in practice, fast in qualifying, and, well, now fast in the race. And, I mean, no surprise with the setup he's built and with how fast he's been here so far tonight, uh, starting to steadily gap himself as those two well, at least Donald Clark is two seconds over Ryan Bean in third, so definitely starting just, to. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely super fast. We but just this, passed halfway, so uh, we got that halfway marker down. But this is one thing about short tracks is he's been faster than Terry Bates, but with all the lap traffic, that closed the gap between the two uh, with all this lap traffic, but they're finally able to clear all of that. And, now that's a problem for Ryan Bean and Brandon Mettler to deal with in the 22 into the wall. Andrew Saucier able to keep it to the wall and not spin out, thankfully. Close call there for 
uh, Brandon Mettler, Tina Marr, guys uh, at the back end of the top five. Oh, and we have a spin, the 14 of Chris Malcolm. That's going to bring out a caution. Oh, and big contact to the 85. Yeah, that's somebody that did not hold their break. It is hard to see out the side of the car, though. Comes out of turn two, spins it around, and like you mentioned, uh, just did not hold the brake, and well, the 85 pays the price. As now, I mean, that's a couple times tonight for Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth Younts that he's just got caught up in something that's unavoidable. Yeah, that's that's gotta be frustrating. Because he was probably thinking to himself, well, he's gonna get on the brakes, and then he gets up to him and he does not. Uh, Tanner Marin, Joshua Sexton down pit road. So we're, we're starting to see some pit strategy here. Yeah, this would probably be a good time. Get some new tires right now. Make sure you have enough fuel for the end. And then these other guys, if you're gonna have to stop, then you might as well get it out of the way so that when they pit, you're up front. Uh, I like that call by Sexton. I think that was a good, good one. If he can avoid all the, the trouble that can come with being back farther. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm going to try my best not to compare the modifieds to these cars, obviously, but uh, the modifieds, the tires did not uh, hurt them too much. There, there was some tire difference uh, that we were talk, told about in the, the post-race interviews, but uh, we'll see just how big the tire difference is in these super late models here at Southern National. I would think that the tire wear would be much higher when it comes to the super lates because the SKs, I don't think they have the kind of power that these late models do. And and driving style will make a difference as well, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I know I'm not the easiest on my tires. I, I, I'll, I'll be up there and I'll race up towards the front and then I fall back. Hey, I mean, as long as you're having fun, I mean, that's what iRacing is about being able to do racing that you know maybe you know some people are able to do in real life what they do in iRacing but uh, for a lot of people it's doing something that you can't do in real life and kind of a getaway and so definitely why iRacing is so popular yeah it, I, I really enjoy it myself green flag back out Donald Clark able to clear himself for the lead once again and Jason Warren on the outside of Shannon Wilder for a top five position. So he's already starting to fight back into the top five as long as he can use that outside to get past Shannon. It's going to be tough, though. Shannon's going to fight as much as he can. And we've seen yeah. that outside be loose tonight. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that the outside is where he wants to be, but he's holding his own. He might be getting it, too. He's diving it in. It looks like he might pull him here. Nope. And caution's out, so he's going to actually have that fifth position with the caution coming out, and he was out front of Shannon Wilder. So back to the top five for Warren. Ray Page, I'm not sure if – I don't. it showed him fall back, but I, I'm not sure if he was a part of that wreck or not. I think the 90 was a part of it. Kevin Dowd? Kevin Dowd. All right, let's check this out. He does have damage. Yeah, absolutely. Good call there. Let's check this out. Twenty-three of Mickey Isaac and the four Tanner Mar. Tanner Mar just a little bit of contact to that left rear, and that's enough to spin that car around. No other contact for him, thankfully. So he's going to be able Marr, to. He was he was one of them that took the pit stop, so he's trying to get himself back up there towards the front. Yeah, nobody pitting on this this round of caution laps. Eric Lake is down pit road, so, uh, but I think he's going a lap down. Yeah, I don't know if you can get the four tires and not go down a lap. Yeah, he's going to go a lap down. Now the top 18 left on the lead lap. Already 81 laps. I mean, the... The lap counts kind of snuck up on me there, honestly. 
Um, I didn't expect it to be lap 81. You know, we're calling this race. I'm not even looking at the laps. I'm just looking at the action, and all of a sudden, uh, 81 laps into 125 already. Yeah, there was a good green segment there, and they burned off a ton of laps. I mean, they go by so quick at this track. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I tell, you know, the the audience about how quickly laps go by, and then I surprise myself when I look at the lap count. That's just, that's <laughs> really how quick these laps are at 13 seconds, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seemed like we just hit halfway, and now we're a good 20 laps past it. Yep, and we're getting ready to go racing once again. Donald Clark, Terry Bates, Ryan Bean, Brandon Mettler, Jason Warren, your top five. The green flag is out. Another great restart for the 18. He, well, oh man, the two dives deep into the turn, but just not able to stick to the outside of Donald Clark. And now he's gonna have to deal with Ryan Bean below him. Caution's out. Yeah, I saw somebody in the oh, straight reckon. there. Kevin Dowd. Yeah, Kevin Dowd again. Just talked about how he didn't make much contact on that last wreck, and it looks like he hits the entrance to the pit road. That should get Eric Lake his, bet, his lap back, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how he can move through back through the field. Oh, man, he was – so it looked like Kevin Dowd uh, was slowed up, and – oh, he was just coming out of pit road, I think. Yeah, just coming out of pit road. He was slow. He was trying to rejoin the track out of turn four and then came, dove back down to not hit those guys coming back or coming behind him and uh, well unfortunately a lot of contact to the the barrier right there in front of pit road they don't see that often it gets really loose on that flat coming in and out of the pit stop area i know when you're actually racing you do not want to hit that flat yeah, we uh, we had a lot of self spins from. We haven't seen that tonight really, but we had a lot of self spins last night hitting that light gray below where the, all the rubber is. Uh, they were hitting that light gray and spinning out. So haven't seen that tonight. Been a lot of really just been getting loose out of the turn. Uh, you know, you're they they've been already on the stretch and kind of just gets loose on them, or it's been multi car contact. But yeah, none of none of the touching that light gray area below the the. Uh, dark gray that you see with all the grip there. On the stream, we've got a shout out from uh, Magic Mike Arebe. He's giving a shout out to Jason the Jet Oswald, Logan the Fish Sturgeon, and Jason Jason Warren. I think you meant Josh Oswald, but yeah, <laughs> I, uh, you said uh, Jason Oswald, and I was like, huh? We have a Jason. Oh Oswald well, here. <laughs> I, I was just reading what Magic Mike wrote. Oh so man. <laughs> as they have brought it to single file restarts now to maybe try to clean them up a little bit and we'll see if it works as Donald Clark, that's gonna make it easier for him on restarts to keep the lead. The green flag is back out. Still single file throughout the field with the restart being single filed. Jason Warren now into the top four on the back bumper of Ryan Bean. Let's see if he's able to make a move on him in the next couple of laps. You know, Jason is fast, but the, the, the more you move up the standings, the harder it is to pass people. So we'll see how he handles it, if he is able to get to the back bumper of Ryan. Yeah, and now that they're on older tires, that's going to make it even more difficult to try to pass. He's going to need them to make a mistake, I think. He was looking to the inside there, but just he wasn't close enough to make it happen. One interesting thing in iRacing now, if you look into the the car when it looks down, you can see the the brakes glowing bright, brightly in those in those wheels. And I mean that's one thing I love about iRacing. It's the small details that they've added recently uh, that I really like. Caution is out. And it looks like the 71 of Harold Rothery spun around on the back stretch. 
Yeah, but he's kind of stuck right now. Yeah, I think he might have had some contact or something with Logan. Sturgeon? Logan was uh, apologizing for something, so maybe not. Maybe Logan Oh, yeah. Just, uh, contact there to the left rear of the 71 from Logan Sturgeon. Spending that car around. Not too much contact for the 71. You do see some left front damage, but uh, not too much to really hurt the engine in that car, I believe. And Magic Mike said uh, his bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was about He's to also, say. He also calls him Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> I was about to say. I. I didn't know we had a, a Jason Oswald in the league. I was about to, I was like, uh, all right, I guess we got a new Oswald in here. <laughs> but uh, honest mistake. Toby Surratt says, nice broadcast, guys. We appreciate that. Thank you. Keep tuning in every Thursday night, man. We're going to be doing these, and uh, they, there's going to be some great racing on track. So uh, it's definitely worth, uh, you know, watching – and uh, you know, if you if you have iRacing, maybe it's something you want to participate in. Yeah, and if you already are on iRacing and want to race in what you see tonight in the the late model series or the Wednesday night uh, modified series, you can look up Thunderstruck. I'm sorry, uh, the Thunderstruck Super Series on iRacing, and we'll get you in the Discord, get you out on track. Has the green flags back out, and we're back to double file restarts, which makes it a little bit more interesting for Donald Clark to keep the lead. And uh, back here around the sixth position, uh, Casey Cunson, Shannon Wilder were just battling for that position, but Casey's able to take that spot away. And the 22 of Andrew Saucier spun around on the back stretch. Yeah, I think he got into the. Uh... One of the, I think he got into the back of Younts. I could be wrong about who he got into the back of, though. As we're back here with the 22. And, oh, yeah, it looked like, actually, uh, they were probably destined for contact regardless, but it looked like some net code between the two. Let's go real quick behind the car. Yeah, yeah they, that's a that's net code. Yeah, it looked like maybe they were destined to make contact anyways, but it doesn't help the net code spun him around uh, before they could really see if he was going to make contact. Yeah, that that's one of the the worst things about the net code is sometimes it gives a bigger hit than what would have ever been. That's just bad luck. Thank you, Toby. Appreciate it very much. Well, 22 laps to go now, so over lap 100. And it's coming down to the, the wire for some of these guys up here in the lead with the caution coming out. It's going to make it for, you know, more interesting restarts for these guys as Jason Warren got up in that fourth position. But uh, like we mentioned, the further you go up in the standings, the harder it is going to be able to pass. And he's stuck in that fourth position right now uh, and with – such few laps to go uh, he has to go now yeah and, but that outside starting spot is not going to help him i don't think unless the inside line falters on its start but uh, the outside has been rough making freak train you sexton just hasn't been able to get back going since uh warren got by him he's back in 13th spot now the green flags back out. We were almost three wide for the lead, but they're able to solve it as Donald Clark still going to maintain the lead. Terry Bates, Ryan Bean, Jason Warren, and Brandon Mettler, your top five. Although it does look like uh, Sexton went back into the pits around lap 70. Oh, we've got a caution. Caution's out, and... 
try to see. Saw some smoke there in one and two. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right at the moment. I'm not hearing any chatter on the uh, driver chat. So Toby does have iRacing and he is looking for a league to race with. So the Thunderstruck Super Series is something to look up, man. Yeah, for sure. Look up the Thunderstruck Super Series. Uh, I mean... For me, I, I, out of all the cars below the trucks, I definitely like the late models the most, the super late models. Uh, and, you know, I'm actually jealous of these guys. that, But I'm not good at open setups, so it wouldn't matter if I was in this uh, actually racing in this league or not. Uh, I'm not good at open setups, so <laughs> my uh, I wouldn't be able to maintain the speed with these guys. Yeah, that, that, that's my problem too. So, I mean, I was able to do a good setup for – uh, Charlotte, but then that's not even on the schedule this time around, so uh, I, I, I'm going to have a lot more fun watching him than trying to uh, keep myself from wrecking every race. Yeah, also, Toby, if you're if you're a short track person, this is definitely the series for you. Uh, it's, a, it's a schedule full of short tracks in these super late models, and the Wednesday night modified series, also all short tracks, uh, but for that one, halfway through the season they move to the wheel and tour modified right now they're in the sk modified cars um for that series so yeah if you're a short track nut definitely this is the the league for you and the 18 of donald clark once again a great restart going to be able to maintain that lead and it looks like uh, jason warren casey cunts fighting for that fifth position oh and wrecking oh. hard behind them that was 10, fours backward, Tanner Martin. Oh, oh man, a 50. lot of carnage. Oh. All I heard was tire screeching. Yeah, that was kind of ugly. Ooh, Shannon Wilder makes contact, Tanner Marr. Oh, man. I mean, Kenneth just cannot catch a break tonight. Another wreck right in front of him. Yeah, that was uh, not good. It looked like Ten had to back off real quick from the guy in front of him, and then Tanner Marr got into him, and then it was on. So, I mean, we're, we're coming down to eight laps to go now, and when we restart, it'll probably be five or six laps to go. And if any of these guys want to beat Donald Clark tonight, they're going to have to get a good jump on the restart because with only five or six laps, if he's able to clear for that lead on the restart, I'm not sure there's much of anything they can do about it. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much they can do about it either. Yeah, you can watch the Rebels Racing Network and all the different series that are on there. Uh, the original Rebels Racing League, there that's a great league as well. They run on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, those are some good racing as well. Those are uh, Xfinity cars on Friday, Cup cars on Saturday, and the trucks on Sunday. And this right here is going to help Donald Clark even more. Single file restart once again and he's off six laps to go when they cross the start finish line see if we can get six green flag laps it's going to be tough these guys are going to be racing for everything they have they singled out real quick 
Now five laps to go for Terry Bates to try to get to the back bumper of Donald Clark for the lead. Not a lot of time left for him. He's shown some speed tonight, but with only four laps now, it just does not look like he has the laps to do it. But Terry Bates has shown speed, but Donald Clark has shown more speed tonight. It's yeah, been, definitely. Been pretty they're they're amazing. gonna be people to watch for the whole season, I think. Yeah, pretty amazing to watch that car around this tough track, to, not to mention. So, I mean, this track is a very tough race track to, to run around cleanly. And I mean, well, Donald Clark hasn't had the cleanest race just because of that early contact with the wall. But outside of that, led every single lap afterwards. Oh, well, I jinxed him a little bit more contact with the wall there. And we are coming to the white flag. So the next flag will end it for Donald Clark. Terry Bates doing everything he can, diving into the turns, but it's just not going to be enough. Through three and four for the last time, Donald Clark is going to win the season open, opener here in the Thunderstruck Super Series. Boom. Terry, he takes it. Terry Bates second, Ryan Bean third, Brandon Mettler, Jason Warren, your top five. That was quite the comeback from Warren. Yeah, Warren just not able to, to move up any further after getting up to fourth and actually fell back one spot on the restarts. Uh, but, yeah, a good comeback, you know, at least finishing fifth after falling all the way back to outside of the 20 or out, uh, outside of the top 20 with that lap one wreck. Actually, I think he was pretty much dead last when uh, that first happened because he was the only one lap down at the time. So he would have been at the last spot. David Hall pulled out a seventh place after starting 18th. Casey Kuntz came in sixth after starting 12th. So those are some big movers this race. Yeah, Logan Sturgeon, who did not qualify and started, I believe, last up to the ninth position tonight. Yeah, he had a good run. He had some hiccups here and there, but uh, he had a good strong finish. Krista Clark saying, way to go, Donald Clark. And there goes the motor. The virtual engine shop, not going to be happy about that one. No, they never are, but I, they got the money. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they have unlimited resources, so I think they'll be just fine. And with that, we're going to go ahead and pull Mr. Clark into the Discord channel. Once He's I busy find rolling him. into the check. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great race. I see a Donald in here, so I trust that's the uh, only Donald in here. So we're going to go ahead and pull him in. Hey, Donald, Zach, and Jeff in the booth, you got a copy? Yeah, I got a copy. I mean, what a race, man. You know, Jason Warren, the, uh, you know, the season one champion. And, well, you came into in tonight's race and showed a lot of speed during practice, qualifying. And uh, during that race, you were just able to distance yourself. Take us through your race. Tough race. I knew Jason was going to be fast. Um, but, unfortunately, he got into one a little hot and tore his race car up. So, it set him back. But um, it was a good race. Terry was quick the whole race. Um right there with us um just paced herself a lot of cautions so it kind of helped a little bit but it was all in all it was a good race yeah you had uh, done a fantastic job up front i knew you were fast from practice and I, I figured you might have something for that champion jason warren uh but i didn't know you had that much that that was incredible you did a great job uh, d did you think that that damage on your car would slow you down a bit or did you figure out real quick that uh it was just nothing Actually, the damage did hurt a little bit, but um, I guess not enough to to set us back. Um, made the car super tight, especially on the long run. But it it um, I guess it wasn't enough to to affect it too much. Yeah, so we head to the Bull Ring next week. How you feeling about that track? I like the Bull Ring. It's a little short track, and 
takes a lot of patience to get around there, especially with this many cars. Yeah, I've only raced the bull ring on, in the modified cars, and that was a handful in and of itself. Uh, that's going to be handful for you. Are, but you do like the track? Yeah, I like the uh, bull ring. Yeah, the bull ring? Yes, sir, I like it. Yeah, that's a, a an interesting track. Well, do you have any shout-outs that you want to give out to anybody? Yeah, big shout out to all my teammates, uh, Zero Nine Motorsports. Uh, Jason's a teammate of mine. Um, Terry Bates, uh, all those guys. They work hard on these cars each and every week. Just the whole Zero Nine Motorsports team. Um, my wife for let me do what I enjoy doing here. Uh, and my girls, they're here watching tonight. Um, Cheyenne and and Bell and my boy Brooks. And a big shout out to my daughter Shaylin. Her birthday's today. Crystal's your wife. That's correct. Right. Yeah, because she gave you a shout out on the broadcast. So thanks for coming, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. All right. Donald Clark, your race winner tonight. Now we'll move on to Terry. He's found his way into the channel. How you doing, Terry? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. A uh, nice race for you to start off the season, a nice second-place finish. Uh, was there anything that you really could have done differently to, to catch and try to pass Donald Clark? Well, I, I could have, um, uh, I could have um, uh, stayed um, dead even with him on the start, but evidently I kept um, misjudging when he would take off. Yeah, the restarts there was plenty of them, and they're they're very hard to judge. Did you find it hard on each restart, or did was it just like the last one that really kind of got you? Just about every one of them, because I could, I I would think every time I would like I'd be like, well, um, uh, I don't know when he's going to start, so I'm going to have to judge it myself. We All got right, the so, bull ring. Oh yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Oh, we got the bull ring next week. Are you uh, looking for uh, a good finish there as well? Are you really good at that track? I'm decent at bull ring. I'm not as good as I am at, at, at bull ring as I am here, but uh, I'm going to do my best. Do you have any shout outs for anybody out there? Yeah, I want to thank da uh, Daniel Pope, Donald Clark, uh, Aaron, um, Alex McCollum. And uh, zero 09 uh, Race Shop and Z zero 09 Motorsports for the um, setup and everything, man. Thank y'all for uh, pushing me to run the super lights on iRacing. Yeah, tell him Jeff Paisley wants them setups, man. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. All right. Terry Bates, your second place finisher. Now we'll move on to Ryan being in the third position let's see if we can't find him there he is hey ryan zach and jeff in the booth you got a copy yes sir what's going on well nice third place finish to start off the season you raced last night in the modified cars here and i know they're two completely different cars but uh did last night help you at all to try to gauge how tonight would go uh, uh, bits and pieces of it. Uh, you know, they both, for me, they both drive so differently and, uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I like the super late model a little more cause I feel like you really got to drive it and the tie wear really comes into play. But, uh, I, I learned how to race with these guys yesterday. So I know who's quick, you know, I know, you know, who I should be around. Are you looking forward to the bull ring next week? You're going to be good there. Uh, I've done one race there in the super late model official and it was a blast. I, I didn't even know what the track was like or anything. I, I I'm excited because it's mostly flat and that back stretch is a little scary. So it, I think it could be fun. It's going to be good racing. All right. You, uh, you got anybody you want to give a shout out tonight? Yeah. My uh, team, uh, front row racing and, uh, Williams auto group, uh, Ryan Dowd and Emily from marketing at Williams auto group for sponsoring our whole team and the league. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Can't wait for next week. All right. Well, congratulations on your podium finish tonight. And, yeah, looking forward to seeing you next week. Yes, sir. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, congrats, man. You were front row, right? Yes, sir. All right. We'll get you back there. Nice race. Yes, sir. All right. That was your top three from tonight's race. And we'll go ahead and pull up your official results from tonight. And while I do, uh, Jeff, last thoughts about tonight's race? Well, they were holding the car better than I was definitely during my practice. So uh, it was definitely a lot of fun to watch them. There were some comers and goers and uh, 
I, I, I you really got to hand it to Logan Sturgeon coming up from last spot uh, with not qualifying all the way up into the top 10 finishing ninth. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go through the final results. Donald Clark, Terry Bates, Ryan being like you just heard your top three, Brandon Mettler fourth, Jason Warren fifth, Casey Kuntz sixth, David Hall seventh, Eric Lake eighth, Logan Sturgeon ninth, and Joshua Sexton your top 10. Josh Oswald, 11th, Mickey Isaac, 12th, Kevin Dowd, 13th, Harold Rothery, 14th, Shannon Wilder, 15th, Tanner Marr, 16th, Aaron Ward, 17th, Ray Page, finishing 18th, and then 19th place finisher, Sam Wettstein, Chris Malcolm, 20th, 21st, Lance Sponberg, Kenneth Younts, 22nd, Andrew Saucier, 23rd, Chud Bassett, 24th, and then rounding out the field, Keith Lichten Walner. And that rounds out the results from tonight's race. So we'll go ahead uh, one more time tonight and pull up your Thunderstruck schedule for the Super Late Model Series. Like we mentioned, the bull ring next week, 125 laps. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, 125 laps throughout every single track. It's just a short track schedule, so... Uh, you know, 125 laps can really just, I mean, it can fit every single track that we do. And I think that's why they did it. And then we go to Myrtle Beach, Martinsville, Bristol, North Wilkesboro, Nashville, Lanier, USA, Stafford Motor Speedway, Five Flags, and then finishing out the season at South Boston. So a lot of tough but fun and exciting short tracks left on the schedule for the Thunderstruck Super Series late model. Yeah, this is going to be a great season. A lot of tight racing. Uh, I think we're going to see some of these guys that maybe we didn't really talk about too much uh, get kind of fed up with being towards the back and work hard and move up, I think, during the races. Uh, I think we'll see a lot of that. I know Tanner Marr, he didn't have the finish he wanted. I'm sure he's going to want to get uh, moved up. It'll be fun to watch him coming back up. I think Josh Oswald also will have to... Uh, look into what he's going to be doing over the next couple of weeks. And uh, I think we'll see him up front as well. Yeah. So real quick before we head out of here, one more shout out to the Williams auto group uh, for sponsoring not only tonight's series, but the Wednesday night modified series. So uh, shout out to the Williams auto group for uh, sponsoring and, you know, before, before this year, we kind of, or before this season, season one, we kind of just, named all of the races randomly and uh, those guys are able to hop on board with the Thunderstruck Super Series and uh, we definitely greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that was 125 laps tonight uh, around a tough, tough little short track and um, Donald Clark is able to pull out the win. So looking forward to next week at the Bull Ring. Make sure to tune in Saturday night as the Xfinity Series is uh, on a two-week break after the, the se season's end. So make sure to tune in Saturday night for the Saturday Night Senate Cup Series and the original Rebels Racing League here on Rebels Racing Network. It's been Zach and Jeff Paisley from the booth. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>